So here at the University of Southampton we conduct lots of research in ecological engineering, primarily focusing on trying to protect endangered species of fish from water and energy engineering practices. At Southampton we have unique facilities such as these large scale flumes that enable us to quantify the behavioural response of fish to hydraulics and acoustics um, under very controlled environmental conditions. Uh, currently I'm working on a number of environment agency funded projects uh, which really look at fish passage issues. So we've got lots of low head small scale barriers in our rivers which prevent fish from accessing certain habitats. Uh, so we're looking at, in this case, uh, specifically eel passage over uh, gauging weirs. So we have hundreds of these in our rivers which are preventing uh, access to upstream areas. So our research really falls into two key components. One is to assess the environmental impacts of developing infrastructure for water resources and for energy and then finding a way to mitigate for those environmental impacts. One of the advantages of using these flumes is that it, it enables us to video record the behaviour of the eels as they approach and try and use and ascend these fish passes. And that's the kind of information that's very difficult to obtain in the field. And that's one of the real advantages of using these flumes. You get that fine scale behavioural data and information. And this should have a, a dramatic impact in opening up access to um, more river habitat for these eels. At the International Centre for Eco-Hydraulic Research we have 20 researchers working with industry and academia in various countries including the United States, China and Brazil and they're working on projects to try and assess the environmental impacts of hydropower and with the view to developing mitigation technology to try and deter fish away from hazardous areas.